Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to do exception handling with methods. So if your method may possibly throw an exception, you should not try to handle it in the method. And I'll explain why by an example soon. Instead, you should state what the method throws in the method header and then surround the method call with the try and catch block. So let's try that out and I'll explain why this is a best practice. Alright, so in class demo, let's create a new method called divide public static we're going to return an integer so int is the return type let's call it divide and we have two parameters int a and int b so we can pass two arguments to this method and it's going to return a divided by b all right and then up here let's call the method int x is going to be the value of divide 6 comma 3 and we'll print out x and if I run the program we should get 2 there's 2 but what if I pass 6 comma 0 then the program should crash because we're dividing by 0 there it is so you may think that you might want to include your try catch block here before you return it right but it's better to just warn the person that's using this method that this method throws that type of exception arithmetic exception or you could just highlight this copy it and paste it up here but make sure that it says throws with a with an s at the end it's plural so up here where the problem happens is this line of code right here so we'll surround this with try And then we'll catch it and we'll simply say that you cannot divide by zero. And I'm getting an error here for x because even though I'm declaring x inside this try block, it only lives up to this curly brace. This is the scope of x, so I should declare it outside of the try block. Int x, and let's default it to zero. Get rid of the declaration there, and then that error should go away, and it should now be visible from where it's declared to the closing curly brace right here. So now I have the try catch surrounding the divide method call. If I run it now, it says you cannot divide by zero, and it just prints out zero as the answer rather than crashing. And the reason that you don't want to have a try catch block inside the method is because if somebody else was going to use the same method, they may want to handle that method differently than, than just printing out divide by zero. They may want to write it to a log file or display a pop-up or say some different message. They want to have their own options. So don't force everybody to always have the same catch block by not including a catch block in the method and just simply say that it throws a certain type of exception so that anybody that tries to call this method it'll tell you right there in the Java docs that it throws a specific type of exception arithmetic exception so that means if you see a method that throws a certain exception that sh should be surrounded by a try block and it should have a catch block to catch that exception and then let the programmer determine how to handle it whether they want to print out that they can't divide by zero or do some other thing so that's exception handling with methods.